Hi Leos, how are you guys doing? It's the scene tarot. So let's get into your reading, Leo. I'm seeing the Three of Cups. I'm seeing the Four of Swords here. Definitely someone that is feeling like it's time to be on their own, get back into the dating field, the dating life. Someone that wants to just have fun again, you know, live it up, let it be lit. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling like you just came out of a situation that gave you anxiety and you know that was very stressful for you and you needed a break from that and you're ready to get back out there so for some of you Leos you're probably just getting out of a relationship um, that didn't work out and you are ready to put your feet back in the water okay so let's see what's going on for Leo thank you angels Leo please Thank you, Angel. Ooh. what you don't see coming is the five of cups okay someone is really thinking about you at this moment and i feel like it's someone from your past obviously you know this person did something um that you know just didn't flow very well with you and remember remember i saw the four of swords and that's telling me that you left this situation you left this person you walked away from this person they were giving you too much anxiety and stress and i feel like you couldn't see the future with this person um and you're just ready to go out there and be you again but for some reason this person is thinking about you and living in some kind of regret so let's see what happened here we have the empress we have the seven of swords here we have the Magician in Reverse, the Nine of Wands, we have the Ace of Pentacles, how interesting, and the Judgment, and then we have the Sun here, which is your energy in Reverse, okay? So I'm feeling right off the bat, Leo, with this Sun being here, you're like, yeah, this situation didn't make me happy, I had to take steps. I had to take steps to make me happy again because this person that you were with is someone that wasn't very stable okay especially you couldn't trust this person and trust is very important to you um you know everything that came out of its personal lies might have been a lie you know this is what you're saying to me in the seven of swords like this person wasn't trustworthy you had to find out things on your own or go under investigation maybe check in their facebook page their instagram page you know check in with friends and family to see if what they were saying add up to what other people are saying as well and I feel like, you know, when it comes to a, fruit, a future with this empress in reverse, I feel like you are definitely thinking that, you know, Virgo energy, you're very, you're very much thinking that this person is not what you want when it comes to a committed relationship, when it comes to a family, like something is in jeopardy here. For some of you, you might have a child with this person and you just wish that you had it with someone else or you made this step with someone else and not this person okay but for some of you, you might be stuck with this person okay because of that contract that you have made i'm seeing that magician in reverse a lot of carelessness a lot of recklessness a lot of things that are said negatively you know i hate you i love you you know talking about you behind your back with other people you know planting negative seeds about you wishing bad things on you and they're ex and they're thinking this is love in their head but the truth is they don't know what they have done right and this is what i'm seeing right here the magician i feel like this person is if they're cheating they're cheating in all the wrong ways you know reckless with their body reckless with your body not using protection with anyone all right and you are trying to make this you know be as secretive as possible with other people i feel like at this point leo you you just want things people to think that things are happy Things are great. I feel like you don't want to say or hear the words I told you so because I'm hearing like 
someone telling you like this person isn't the one for you for so long and you've been standing up for this person and try to make it work with this person and you know try to make it appear to be as if you're in control of things but you're just like ready to let everything go here and the ace of pentacles it's like you're working towards or you want to keep this this family this everything that you have built together so some of you could be married to this person as well okay and there's a decision that haven't been made yet and i feel like that decision is like not set in stone whether or not for some of you are going to get a divorce because the ace of pentacles are in the upright and there's so many things to consider here so you're holding off on this you're old, holding off on a final a final separation document or for it for this relationship if you guys are not married to be permanent like you still has a you still have an open possibility that you might try to work things out here with this ten of wands you know you're holding on trying to be strong but it's not a permanent decision to walk away or to you know you just don't know what you're gonna do <laughs> But this situation does not make you happy. And you know that. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Look at that. You know, for some of you, you're just like the same routine over and over again. This is becoming repetitive and this is becoming boring to you, this relationship here. It's like the same thing. I'm seeing like a cycle here between you and this person. Libra energy as well. Trying to balance out the scales here. Trying to be at peace. Because I feel like for most of you, you want peace with this judgment being here. It's like, you know, you want to even the scales, but you just don't know how to do that right now. And then we have the five of wands. We have the page of pentacles. We have the king of pentacles. We have the star. We have the temperance. We have the three of wands and the six of cups. How interesting, huh? Yeah, your ex. This is your ex. This is someone that you're constantly thinking about. They're thinking about you. And remember when we started your reading, Leo, I saw the I saw the five of cups. You know, this person is thinking about you very dearly, wants to get back in your good graces. Um, just don't know how to make the moves here. You know, this person was reckless, probably abandoned you in this relationship. All right. And now they're having thoughts about, wow, they could have made things better. <laughs> I'm seeing the five of wands, okay? You are about to leave, but it's like you haven't took that step yet. And when we're talking about that step, let's go back to the judgment. The same thing. Haven't made that decision to walk away from this person because you are not compatible at this present time. You guys are not seeing eye to eye for some of you. Every moment is an argument and you're just like, what the hell is going on here? It's like this person is making you feel like they don't want to be with you. So, you know, you're trying to hold things together for your family, your sanity, your plans. If you don't have a family with this person, your plans, things that you have built, your legacy. You know, you might have been with this person for a very long time and here they are acting up and you haven't made a decision to walk away. Okay. But I'm seeing like. You know, you are at that point because you're feeling like you're fighting for this person's attention for some of you. Like you're fighting for this person's attention. You're not getting it from them. And this is not fair to you. And they're make, you're not making any moves to, to give you this legacy. Somebody is holding somebody back here. But I also feel like um, there is this tendency of mental um, abuse that's going on in this relationship. Um... Like this person is manipulating you, putting things on you like it's you, it's in your head. And you're trying to protect your energy with your mental state here. Maybe working really hard or like diving into work or trying to like do something that you're really passionate about that could keep you happy. Okay, maybe staying from home or being in the streets or driving around, you know, every day. Just don't want to come home. You're just trying to invest in something else. Or maybe seeing friends or hanging out with friends and spending night over friend's house. Like, I'm seeing you're trying to disappear and because of your mental state. Not because you don't love this person. It's because you just don't want to argue with this person. You don't want to have to, you know... 
explain yourself to someone that constantly puts you down and try to you know get you into a dark place here we have aquarius energy we also have sag energy that's coming through a very fun like energy playful energy i am getting free somebody wants to be free here to explore you know somebody wants to be happy here okay um i'm feeling like this this energy that i'm feeling is going to be a point where you're going to have to choose yourself and nurture your spirit and also have faith within yourself and know that you are enough because for you to have this person treating you like this, this is something that you have, you have to deal with, um, with self. Why you feel like you, you know, this person has the right to do this to you. Do you value yourself? You know, you have to really think about this, Leo. And I feel like this is what it's coming, coming to. I feel like... I just feel like good... Like you're going enough is enough. That's what I'm hearing. Because, you know, we have the three of wands here and plus your, you know, this person could be your soulmate coming off as someone that has a really strong pull towards you. Can, you know, they constantly pull you back when you try to move on. That's what I'm hearing. And look at all these hearts in the water. You see these hearts on these rocks? These cups, hearts, cups, you know, but of course. And, you know, I feel like this person wants to nourish themselves here. It comes back with this, you know, with this temperance. All about nourishing, taking care of yourself, valuing yourself, even start dating yourself again and try to figure out what you want for yourself. Because this person is trying to take away everything that you are. They're slow. First of all, they're not even ready for a committed relationship. So what you're holding on to... It's what you built for yourself, your idea in your head, okay? Because this person is coming off as someone that is very childish and immature, and you're coming off as someone very developed, you know? just You're just protecting yourself from this person, this energy. This is the value of your home. You're the king of pentacles. You value your home, your space. This person doesn't value anything right now. Nothing. Nada. They don't even know how that feels to value something. Okay? This is what I see for you, Leo. I hope it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.